hi youtube this is rc drone club guys <coughs> hope you are enjoying your h501s and in this video i will be showing you how to minimize your flyaways and how to minimize your problems how to avoid flyaways there are certain methods and techniques uh, which you can apply to avoid flyaways so in this video we will i will be talking about the flyaways of the subsan h501s or any gps card i have another that 5 or 2s so uh, when talking about the gps card the flyaways problem is there so in this video i will be talking about that small techniques the small checks uh, which you can perform to avoid the flyaways they say that 9 to 10 times it is the pilot's mistake if talking about the other drones other than the subsan h501s uh, i can believe that that it may be the pilot's fault but in, but in the case of hubson uh, hubson has serious flight control issues and quality issues which causes the flyaways so hubson has problems so i cannot believe in the case of hubson that it's mostly the pilot's fault i don't believe that but i can show you the simple techniques and simple checks minimize your problems with your h501s and you can minimize your flyaways so these are the some checks and some techniques you can do so let's start off <laughs> So guys the one thing we fear most uh, most are the moments that the drones seem to get mind of its own and flies uh, flies to a place where never where never to be seen again so this is this is fly away actually uh, if you if you have a drone without a gps or compass there is no need of fly, fly away and the only fly away would be the fly away would be the one that is caused by the wind taking it away but if you have a drone with a gps and a compass like this h501s so and such a few things you can do to prevent your flyaways flyaways are mainly caused by the gps disturbance and compass interferences so one small tip here if you want to uh, avoid your flyaway when you see that your drone got the mind of its own and it's uh, going here and there just put it into the altitude mode <clears throat> goes off and it comes into the altitude mode so now it's your skill it's the pilot skill to take it back to the home the rth uh, rth will not work in the altitude mode it only works in the gps so gps so flyaways are mostly caused by the bad compass calibration and disturbance in the gpss so gps and compass calibration these these are the main problems which cause the flyaways so one tip here is guys when you see the cord is moving abruptly and it's not taking your orders simply put into the altitude hold so it will prevent a flyaway so this is the number one small tip to prevent your flyaway but the basic number one thing is that to prevent your fly away number one thing is that you have you have to put into the gps lock first before flying you make sure that you have enough gps on the x4 and enough gps on the transmitter at least 10 on the x4 and 7 on the transmitter of the h501s you have to make sure that first thing first gps lock this is very important most of the flyaways are caused because there is no gps stabilization and you just go away make sure number one thing you have calibre you have gps lock you wait for the cord to get the gps at least 10 on the x4 and 7 on the transmitter then you fly so a gps lock normally requires seven or more satellites depending on the drone you fly you could see it on your screen waiting for the gps lock it's crucial for the drone to know where it took off the rth function relies on that the home point gps lock helps the drone man maintain position but if you start flying without gps and with gps activated the current location of the drone will not be accurate you could cause the flyaway because it has no solid home point recorded 
if there is no or not a solid GPS lock, RTH may RTH have a wrong information. If you trigger the RTH, or when you or when the drone triggers it because of the low battery or may fly away because it has no idea what took off. So it was very important that you wait for the GPS lock at least 10 on the X4 and 7 on the transmitter then you have to go. The second most, most important thing is to calibrate your compass. RTH doesn't rely on GPS signal alone. The compass tells the drone heading. If you have the solid GPS lock but badly calibrated compass, the drone does not know where to fly because it doesn't know its heading. A badly calibrated compass could also cause toilet bowling. If this happens, you cannot stop it. It will get so bad that you can have a sort of fly away as well. So number second thing is that you have to calibrate your compass correctly. So let me show you how to calibrate your compass. It's very important that both the GPS and compass are locked. When you do it in a built up areas, chances are the chances are that the calibration is not good enough. Because in built up areas you have many interferences and more things that could cause the disturbance of the sensors and cause flyaways. So if you fly in a built up areas which you shouldn't, microwaves, Wi Fi signals, telephones, your cell phone your cell phone Wi-Fi make sure that when you have cell phone in your pocket and you're try and you're flying your H501s make sure you put the Wi-Fi off the Bluetooth off because these all are interferences which can cause the fly away so make sure you um, and the last make sure you know what obstacles are surrounding you and which of them could cause harm power lines power plants houses these phone masts and all of these could cause serious interference and could be the reason for a flyaway so guys one of the reasons of the flyaway is your surroundings so watch your surroundings that it's not so congested it's not you don't fly in the city because you fly in the congested area you fly in the city <clears throat> the more uh, the congestion the uh, city area it also causes the disturbance and interferences in the GPS and in the compass so make sure you don't fly in the city area so finally how to regain control in a case of a flyaway <clears throat> so it's a simple tip because the GPS and the compass causes the flyaways of this H501S so whenever you feel and you see the abrupt movement or you feel that H501S is going to fly away you see uh, its uh, abrupt movement in the FPV you just have to simply put into the manual mode or altitude mode in, the, in that case the GPS goes off and cord comes into the manual mode so you have to pilot back to your home then so this is the Tip. here you can use yeah, the GPS goes off uh, the cord goes into the manual mode you have to fly back it's easy you just have to practice the manual mode then you become used to it so guys that was my advice that was my uh, whole thought about the flyaways just follow these procedures uh, wait for the GPS in the start calibrate your compass and if you in the case of emergency you see you just put into the manual mode or altitude mode uh, you can save a fly away so guys thank you for the watching please subscribe for the more videos this is Ron Club signing off